Hi, so today I am going to show you how to use Mail Merge to print labels. This is really handy if you have a very high volume of labels to print. So you're going to need a spreadsheet with the correct columns with your names and addresses in the correct columns and a blank word document. Now I have actually created a downloadable step-by-step -step procedure for this and that's available on my EA How To LinkedIn page. It has screenshots and will tell you exactly what to do. So I'll link to that in the comments or in the video description so that you can download that if you wish. But if you'd like to see how it's done on the screencast then just keep watching. First thing you're going to do is go to Mailings, Start Mail Merge and select Labels. You then need to make sure you're selecting the correct printer. So I'm using a Dymo Corporation large address label, product code 99012. Okay, and this is now my label. Selecting recipients, we're going to use an existing list. So this is your spreadsheet that you've created with your names and addresses. And the downloadable guide shows you how to format the spreadsheet as well if you're not sure. Find where that is saved, yes, and now we're ready to insert our merge fields. Now when it says insert merge fields, these, this data pulls from your spreadsheet. So my columns on my spreadsheet say first name, sorry last name, first name, address line one, address line two and so on. If I insert that right now, it's actually going to go in the wrong direction. Show you if I put last name. It's going to go this way and we actually obviously want it to run this way. So let's delete that and we're going to change the direction of the text before we do anything else. To do that we go layout, text direction and it's now going to print that way. Back to mailings, insert merge field. You can do this in any order. If you want the first name to go first that's absolutely fine. I'm going to go last name create a space, first name, new line, let's put address line one, address line two, city, county or state, postcode and country. And it looks like we have a bit too much space here so I'm just going to adjust that in the layout as well. For some reason we've got that, that's better. So if you do need to adjust anything you can for example create uh, more of a indent or less. You can play around with the formatting. We're going to go back to mailings update our labels, hit finish and merge. Now you can print straight away but I much prefer to edit the individual documents so I want to see how it's going to look first. And you can see that we have our first label going to Bugs Bunny, care of Peter Pan Limited, 100 Blog Street in London, Greater London, postcode United Kingdom. And they're all looking quite good. From here if everything looks good you can print if you need to play around with the layout you can still do that you can go here you can as I said increase the indent you can change the font you can change whatever you like really the same as you would in a normal word document but that's basically it so this is how to do labels using mail merge I will if you would like to see one do another video showing you how to do a um, word document where maybe you need to populate lots of different fields, you have a standard letter template and you need to change the name and maybe some numbers and things like that. So um, please do feel free to head on over to my LinkedIn page EA How To where you will find all kinds of downloadable guides and of course all of that's free on LinkedIn. So head over there, I will pop a link in the comments below. And that's it for this one, I will see you in the next video. Bye!